Hi there, welcome back. So in the last movie, you have learned that how to create a document setup for your horizontal business card design. And you have also learned how to set up a proper base documents for any graphic designs you are going to print in commercial printer. Like you learned about bleed, safe zone area, making a proper color choices, I mean coated color and uncoated color and choosing a proper color mode while you actually going to print your graphics like uh, between RGB and uh, CMYK. So you use CMYK in order to print it properly in any commercial or digital press printer. And then the most important thing you learned in the last movie that how to create a custom guide. That is really great. So now in this movie, we are actually going to design our actual business card, both front and back side. So now let me uh, go to here and you can see here this is the logo I talked about in the last movie we are going to use in this particular chapter. So this is the logo which is based on my upcoming course that's name is the most important JavaScript interview question and this course is JavaScript interview based course. So yeah this course is going to be great because uh, this course is never going to stop. I'm going to add every week currently the most important questions in JavaScript you will going to face during your JavaScript interview. So yeah, this is my upcoming course and that's why actually I designed this logo here. And now in the last movie, I told you that actually I'm using coated color for this guy. Well, let me just do one thing. Let me press control zero here. So I'm going to just make it big here. And you can see here, if I go to this color swatches here, you can see swatches. And if you didn't find here, you can just go to window here and you can see there's swatches here. Great. And here you can see, uh, actually I told you that I'm using this uh, color book here and Pantone so solid coated color. And now I switched to this Pantone CMYK coated and only reason actually I switched from this Pantone solid coated to CMYK coated is that that I want to use a specific color and I found it in CMYK coated color. So this is the exact same color I wanted to use. But here in this particular case, it was actually you no know, little bit closer to that. But this is exact color what I wanted to use here. So that's why I chose this one. And you know, it's really fine if you're using any coated color here make sure that if you are just going to print it on a hard copy well this is a business card and business card can be printed on the hard copy and the normal copy but mostly you can see the any business card which is actually going to be on a hard copy so that's why if you just you know imagine that you know it's going to print on any hard copy go ahead use coded color and like a letter hat which is going to be like you know always normal copy then you can just use uncoated colors and uh, don't worry about this how to do that well i'm going to show you very easiest how to find uncoated color for your you know, coated color that's it so yeah now let's switch to this one so i just get back to head click here and now this is the color so this is the first one uh, which is actually name is pantone p 20-8c uh, and this is second one pantone p 179-114c i mean coated obviously pantone p 179-1c Okay, so this is the color I'm going to use here and uh, I just go ahead close it out here and what I'm going to do basically here first of all let me just get back to here and I just click this uh, template here I press control zero it, it will going to bring it in up front so you can see it very clearly here. So yeah, this is our front side. So now what I'm going to do basically here, first of all, I'm going to just uh, grab this rectangle tool and I'm going to create a big rectangle here which is going to fit here. And here inside this rectangle, we are going to design our stuff here. Well, this is the rectangle. You can actually, you uh, know, uh, create uh, like, you know, anything you wish here inside. And if you want to change, you know, a background of your business card, you can do it very easily here. So if you want to change something like, you know, make it like uh, blue, black, anything you wish, you can just go ahead and make it. It's left to you. And you can just, you know, just use some kind of a gradient. It's really going to be easy. So yeah, actually, first of all, in this case, I'm going to use this complete white here and now what I'm going to do here basically I get back to here and here I'm going to get back to here and here you can see this is a rectangle we have just created I'm going to just you know lock it out so now if I lock it here you can see now it's locked and I cannot move it here you see I cannot move it great and there we go there is actually you know our uh, particular uh, this template here and now we can actually design our stuff here in this particular business card that's great so now what I'm going to do here basically, I need like, you know, grid system here so I can center it properly my logo. So how to create a grid system? Well, now you know that how to create your custom guide. Well, grid system is going to be very easy. 
so first of all decide how much line you want so you need like you know some smaller control you can create a more lines if you need a bigger control you can create a small lines let me show you you can just take it back to here lines and you know I want like you know seven lines here so now uh, five is gonna be in between here so now I can control my logo inside this one and if you want like you know uh, like big control you can just go ahead use it you can create five fonts so you need you actually going to have three line between one two three here inside and here you can just control it it's really uh, you know depend that you know what grid system you want here so I'm going to just uh, design here uh, admin 7 so let's go ahead click there and you know see bleed to bleed one sorry and uh, two and uh, three uh, here we go four and let me just five six here and this is gonna be a final one the seven one and you can't see it currently here because now this line don't have any strokes so I can just go ahead and copy all of it you see uh, two four six seven and now I'm going to give it a stroke here and now you can see there's a stroke here now what I can do basically here, I want to align it you know uh, like horizontally in center so what I can do basically here I can get back to here you can see horizontal distribute in center here you can see this line you click this one and now we're going to distribute in properly center here and this is how it's actually easy you can see this is really great so make sure you actually use that right so there we go I just distribute in center here and now what I'm going to do here basically I'm not going to need this first one and this last one and now I need this one so now I can set my proper logo here and I can you know place my text between here and all that stuff great so now you know that how to create your custom guides well you cannot use like you know <laughs> this particular stroke because this is going to be really distractive so we are going to create a custom guide out of this so i can just go ahead and select all of it and now what you can do basically here you can just uh, get back to here view guide and make guide or you can simply say control 5 here i just going to hit this one and there we go there's actually our guide here that's great cool so before actually let me place control uh, Z here and now what I'm going to do here I'm just going to copy it from here and let me uh, just get back to here I'm going to paste it here because actually I'm also going to use this guide here so now I paste it here and now I can simply press control F5 here so I'm going to convert it to guide here because we're also going to use guide here right great and now here I'm going to just go ahead and select this five and control five to make it guide great so now we have guide both our in front and back side great so now control zero and now let's go ahead and design our stuff so here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to copy this guy and bring it here here we go and make it a little bit small here there we go and I'm going to paste it to very center here so what I can do basically here you can see I can just go to here and I can just paste it here center there we go you can see it's actually in the very center here I can make it a small even if you uh, wish it's really up to you that how we're actually going to fit you know our display logo because this is going to be our front side so that's why I'm going to just place it very simple there because in the front side I'm not going to place here uh, you know lots of information here so we're going to place our you know information at the back side so this is going to be a very simple very attractive so yeah you can see here this is actually our logo here it is actually in center that's fine for me so now this is our logo placed here now we want our you know tagline here so because actually I'm using in this case my uh, upcoming JavaScript course so I'm going to give it a tagline of this is actually based on uh, an interview question so I'm going to write here an interview based JavaScript course great so yeah that's it that's look cool right so I'm just going to grab this text tool here and I'm going to write here an interview based JavaScript course here so what I can do basically here this is the most important information so that's why I'm just basically to save June area here so I'm going to just uh, click here and I'm going to write here an interview based JavaScript course so an interview based JavaScript course here right so you can see actually I just you know write it but 
it's not look good because this is actually you know uh, very simple here and you know what actually in this particular chapter I'm going to use a very basic font I mean very basic font you just can find in a system it's already installed so I'm not going to make use of any commercial font so if I just you know make use of any commercial font then I cannot provide to you and you cannot follow me along like I won't right <laughs> so that's why I used pretty basic font here so you can just follow me along you can find this font in your system already installed so you can go ahead simply use it so let me show you actually I'm using here that Arial here so I can just go ahead and just uh, write here Arial here and this is gonna be simple here and you can see it's really not look that much attractive here you can see did you find this attractive well I really didn't find this attractive so how can I actually make it so attractive well you can use different font obviously let me show you I can just get back to here and now you can see there's actually in my PC there's actually I have already uh, installed I mean it's pre-installed in my PC that name is CJ script here and this is, looks really great I can just hit this one and now you can see this is the font I'm going to use for displaying my an interview based JavaScript course here but you can see this is not look that much good what I can do basically here let me just go to here and choose bold here so now this is actually a little bit bold here and now what I can do I can just get back to here and I can sync it down here so let me just go to here control A and now if you're using uh, like a small letter and capital letter combination then it's highly recommended to stay equal to 8 pixel or up so now in this case you can see now actually here I'm 12 pixel here I can go to 8 but I cannot go below 8 remember this thing this thing is really important if you are designing your business card or any graphic design this business card your customer or your clients going to give to their customers so their customers might be like young some old or aged people if you so if you're designing your graphic design make sure that you stay equal to 8 or above pixel because 8 pixel is a common standard which can be clearly seen by even the aged people remember that but if you go below 8 pixel I mean 7 pixel then the aged people who actually you know they will have hard time to see what you actually do written here so remember that guy so I just go to here and I'm going to use this 9 pixel here I mean point is simply means pixel don't worry about it anymore and I'm just going to mm, just uh, bring it here and let's see how it's actually look so here you can see uh, this is actually fine for me you can see actually it's in center I'm not going to place it uh, into this particular you know uh, inside this one I'm just going to just make sure that it's actually completely center here and now in this case you can see this is actually in completely center because here is a E is actually outside of this particular line and there's actually A that's great this is actually in complete center here that is really great so I can just bring it up here and now uh, this looks fine to me yeah this looks fine to me and I can just go ahead bring it down here and here's the most important thing I just want to you know, let you know that uh, you know uh, if you are designing your uh, business card and if you're going to print your business card or any graphic design the commercial is going to charge you on colors so as a more color you have in your uh, business card or in your graphic designs they are actually going to charge you more so remember your graphic design you are actually going to print is gonna charge on color you used remember you are going to pay for colors so if you're going to use here like a green like a red here like a blue here like here uh, like you know different color then you are actually going to charge for that color remember that okay awesome so there we go this is actually look fine for me and I can just uh, bring it up here and what I'm going to do here basically I'm just and I'm going to choose uh, this color here you can see uh, this is an interview based JavaScript course here that's look fine for me isn't it that's cool and there we go there's actually our um, you know, tagline here and now what I'm going to do here basically I'm going to create a rectangle here and because this course is gonna be a premium edition because this course is gonna be so so nice actually I did a very hard work with designing this course this course is really great and this is actually a premium course so what I'm gonna do here basically I'm going to write here premium edition well you know you should be very creative while you're designing your business card uh, you can just you know create like two or three or four or five business card and then just show you to clients so just see uh, which you know business card design your client likes so based on that you will go and create like you know your other documents remember that one but now in this case I'm going to make it very uh, like you know uh, like very awesome but just keeping it very simple 
so I get back to here and I'm just going to grab this rectangle here and let me just first of all you can see this is actually our safe zone area so I'm going to create in the first of all you know, a safe zone area and this is not gonna be so much important information so I can place it uh, outside this you know uh, safe zone area it's really uh, you know it's really up to me so yeah I can get back to here and now I'm going to just you know place it here here and I'm going to just make it like you know uh, there you see it's a 0 0.2 here so oh, I can make it uh, this much big but let me just make it 0 0.18 is gonna be fine I guess there we go and this much big is really great for me I guess yeah that's cool nice so let me just press control uh, here you can see a uh, column or semicolon you can just go ahead place this one and I'm going to hide that guide and you can see your business card right here right great so let me just bring my hair back and there we go this is fine and now what I'm do I basically just get back to here and click this one let me first of all go to this uh, particular uh, and I'm going to uh, just you know lock this uh, particular stuff here so if you see this rectangle I can just go ahead and lock it out here so I cannot move it here there we go and now what I'm going to do here I'm going to grab this particular text here and I'm going to write here premium edition here so okay fine sorry about it this is actually premium edition right there we go so you can see actually I'm not going to use this particular you know uh, Sejo script here I'm going to use simple Arial here so Arial and there you go this is Arial and this is fine for me and remember if we are using a capital and small letter combination then don't go below 8 point but if you're using only capital you can go to 6 point up to so let me show you what I mean here so you can see here if I just go to this 6 point here you can see uh, now you can see 7 point 6 point you can see it very clearly here, you can see because this is actually capital letter and you can see it very clearly here that is fine remember this guy okay so now what I'm going to do here basically I'm going to just grab it here and here I'm going to place it here there we go premium edition here and I'm going to obviously change its color to be something like a different here so obviously swatches here and this color I want right there we go and now let me just go ahead and just you know add some tracking here so I can go to character here and I can add tracking here so let's go ahead first of all 200 tracking so now I can see uh, now the control semicolon and I can see oh it's not look that much good let me just go to once again grab back here and I'm going to just not tracking even more so let me go to here 500 like bigger here and now I can just bring it here let's see how it looks so that's look fine here but uh, now let first of all let me just go ahead and make this bold here and see how it's I know look so I can just go ahead and bold yeah that's look fine but let's go ahead and increase uh, more tracking so I can just go ahead and let me add here 800 see how it's look so um, there we go and I can go and bring it here let me bring my guide here first of all by pressing control semicolon and there we go and now if I press control semicolon to hide my guide you can see now that is look fine for me like 800 tracking that's great premium addition great so this is fine for me you can just go ahead and you know just create your own like you know if you want to customize it it's really up to you so yeah this is fine for me I just go ahead press my uh, press control semicolon to bring my guide back here and now this is fine for me but actually I purchased uh, an entire domain for this particular course here so I'm going to just you know uh, after creating like you know more than 50 to 60 video I'm going to create a separate domain for this guy so what I'm going to do basically here uh, I purchased uh, the jsinterview.com so I need to display it somewhere in my business card so what I can do basically here I can bring my guide back and this is actually most important information so I can just you know display it here so yeah that's fine so I can just get back to here and I click here and I'm going to write here the JS interview.com here we go so yeah this is the domain I purchased but you can see uh, actually it's having a lot of tracking here so I can just go to here and I'm going to decrease its tracking to be something like a well I still need tracking so what I can do basically I can just go ahead and give it something like 50 tracking here let's see how it looks so yeah that's look fine for me you can see that's great I can just go ahead and place it here but you can see this is actually a very like you know bold here I'm going to make it regular here regular and uh, now you can see it's fine and let me just see how it's actually look on this uh, narrow here so narrow ah narrow is look really fine great and uh, let me go to narrow bold here narrow bold is also fine no, it's, I don't want actually bold here 
so let you go to narrow here narrow fine but here you can see the actually like six point let me make this eight point so yeah that's fine so yeah this is uh, really um, great but now you can see this dot com is actually competing with this actual address here so what i can do basically here, i can just get back to here and i'm going to just make this different color here or i can simply just you know bring opacity to be down here so how to bring opacity down i can just go to here and bring this opacity down a little bit here so not going to compete with actual address here that's great cool here and now i just want to add something to show that this is actually internet address so for that actually i have you know Mm, uh, this internet uh, SVG. I can just go ahead. This actually icon here. I'm just going to grab any one of this one. So let me just grab this guy. I can just get back to here and shrink it like you know down here. A little bit like uh, this much big here. Uh, even like you know even smaller here. Uh, there we go. And let me just uh, bring it here. And uh, let me just you know bring it little bit up here. And I'm going to just bring it here. There we go. That's fine. Let me just press Control semicolon and see how it looks. Well, let me just uh, shrink it down here, so you can see here. This looks fine, isn't it? This is actually the actual size of your business card. Well, actually going to look when you print it out. So yeah, that's look fine, isn't it? Cool. So let me press Control zero to bring it once again here, and Control semicolon to just you know bring my guide back. And now this is actually our address here. Now what I want here, I'm going to add here a barcode. So if you want to like you know scan with your cell phone, you can just simply just go ahead and scan with the cell phone, and we're going to you know just uh, just bring you on this particular site here. So that is also easy. Uh, I can just let me first of all let me just get rid of this guy. I can go to file here, open, and I have this one QR code, and I have actually two of uh, them. So let me just grab it here. Control zero and I can choose any one of it but uh, I'm, I'm going to choose this guy because uh, this is on business card so so it's actually going to look uh, really nice on you know small stuff so I can bring it little bit up here there we go and there we go this is actually inside the safe zone area this is important here right so control semicolon to hide my guide and now you can see uh, this looks fine for me isn't it cool so let me just once again bring this control uh, semicolon to bring my guide and you can see here this is actually narrow here let me just see how to look on bold here uh, there we go uh, actually regular mm. ah, regular looks really nice yeah, great but here you can see this is actually 8 point let me just think out to 7 point say how to look 7 point or 6 point and uh, that's fine uh, I mean this is not recommended here but let me just go down here and see how to look well that's look fine here that's cool so yeah that is look really nice isn't it so actually you know i'm going to keep it on the six point here six pixel i guess but uh, you don't do that right i mean if you're doing because uh, you know uh, this is actually simply that simple the js interview.com this is actress here and uh, let me just make this a uh, seven point actually this is fine for me right but you remember that you know you must need to just you know place it into eight and up here so now in this case actually seven looks uh, fine for me uh, i think uh, you can see this is actually a business card size here and uh, you can see mm, yeah that's fine that's look really nice very clear right so yeah that is gonna be fine for now <laughs> Well, you can see this is actually our front side, but there's a one problem. You can see, uh, if I just go ahead hide my this guide here, you can see this is looking really nice here, isn't it? Cool. But uh, that's not, you know, that much cool. I want something to, you know, stand out. So what should I do here? Well, uh, you know what? If you are, you know, uh, designing your business card, it's really, you know, awesome when you actually include your signature sign because that is the actually proof of the like you know like you know positivity i mean everybody love like sign <laughs> obviously uh, so you know you need to like you know place some kind of a very uh, nice attractive stuff so uh, in this case i think uh, i'm going to place my signature here so that's going to be look really even more awesome and even more you know uh, enthusiasm instructor that's cool so what i can do basically control uh, zero to be in front here definitely it's front and now i'm going to use here a Rahul here and I'm going to paste a simple uh, this uh, dash here and now I just want to convert into sign so I need to find any font which actually convert to sign here you can see brush script mode is really look fine for me if I just go ahead this guy can see how's look yeah that's look fine is that it that's look like a sign great that's cool so I can just grab it here 
and here what I'm going to do I just go ahead and just going to just make this much bigger and rotate it and then there we go this looks fine for me I guess cool uh, that's fine but I need this uh, line here so I can just go to here and I'm going to create a simple line which is going to be like something like you know this here uh, I think uh, yeah this the, this one big is gonna be fine let me give it a stroke here and there we go so yeah this looks really um, you know big strokes here so I can just get back to here and I can simply just say here 0.5 pixel it's really you know easy 0.5 and this is gonna be a little bit even smaller here and what I can do basically here you can see this is actually you know uh, outside this one so I can just go ahead and because this is actually uh, you know font here I can simply and now I hit this one and now you can see here that's look fine for me I guess let's bring it down here there we go and yeah this is not the actual real sign here but you actually get the idea here right there we go that's fine I guess so sign yeah that's cool here let me just place it a little bit up here there we go and that is really great here so that's fine for me I can just uh, shrink it down here and I can just rotate it like you know uh, here a little bit so you can actually see it uh, like a real sign here and let me bring my guide back here so you can see I'm going to paste it in very center here you can see it now it's actually in act very center here that's great I can make it a little bit big I guess if I wish to you know see that's great so now if I press control you know a semicolon to just hide my guide now you can see this looks is even more fine here because there's a see there's actually there's my uh, website logo this is the tagline and there's actually my sign and this is actually showing me that this actually course is actually premium edition my uh, this particular website name and this is actually QR code so you can simply scan it and directly you know go to my website great that's fine so now if I had just uh, control minus here you can see this is actually the front side of my business card that's great so now you can see actually I designed it and this looks pretty fine for me you can see yeah this good right great so now I actually we have just designed our front side now let me get back to here and just bring this back side here so I can simply click on that and press ctrl 0 to bring it front here and I'm going to press ctrl semicolon to bring my guides here once again and now here what I'm going to do basically uh, I'm going to create even uh, here uh, two boxes here so first of all let me just go ahead and create a two uh, rectangle here so first of all I'm going to create a one simple rectangle this is going to be full here and I'm going to keep it in this color here and I'm going to just uh, grab it here and just going to bring it uh, here there we go the center great and now I'm going to hold alt key it will actually going to bring it here and you can see I can bring it anywhere so I can hold my shift key so it's going to you know bring it in straight line here and I'm going to just paste it here there we go leave it off and now actually I have these two boxes here so first of all I'm going to just uh, keep these boxes in this color but I'm going to make this box in white color here so let me go to here and make this white here and now what I'm going to do I'm just going to know uh, lock this guy so this one and this one now it's locked now I cannot move this guy okay so yeah let me get back to here and now what I'm going to do basically here is that you know uh, first of all let me just hide my guide here there we go and here you can see this is actually coming outside of this guy well it's fine it still doesn't matter because that's gonna be you no know, uh, cut it out so I press control semicolon you know once again and now what I want here I'm going to paste my logo here and um, I'm going to place you know, all those you know my name and instructor and even if you want to add some kind of icon or simply your picture you can just add it here and then social network that's it this is the only thing I just you know worry about here right now so what I'm going to basically uh, I'm going to just you know so it's fine let me just bring it from here so I'm just going to just bring it here let me first of all go get this guy I don't want that right there we go and now what I'm going to do here I'm just going to shrink it down here a little bit small and I'm going to make it in very center here in this two line here so it's gonna be a very center that's great um, there we go perfect and now um, let me just make it a little bit more big so you can like you know look really nice here so you can hold down your alt and shift key it will going to maintain aspect ratio and it will going to increase it from center here you see little bit big there we go it's not fitting here there we go 
So I press Ctrl or Semicolon to hide my guide. This looks really big here. Well, we can deal with it later. So it really doesn't matter for me. <laughs> so yeah, this is fine for me. Now here, what I want, actually, I have already included my tagline here in the front side. So now here, what what can I add here? Uh, the main goal for my course. So I can add here, learn, understand, practice, and get hired. That's really fine here. So what I can do basically here, uh, I can simply just, uh, once again, yeah, I can grab this guy. Click here, and I'm going to write here, learn, understand, practice, and get hired. That's it. That's look fine for me. I'm going to make use of uh, that font. Actually, I used uh, to know, um, just place my tagline here. So that was actually name is Sejo script here. So where is Sejo script? Uh, there we go. Sejo script here. Click this one, and I can see. Yeah great and even I'm going to make it bold here there we go that's fine for me and there we go that's great so that's fine now what I'm going to do here basically I'm going to just uh, bring this guy here and uh, here I'm going to just you know place it around here there we go and I'm going to grab this guy and just going to click here and hit this one so it's going to place it here and control it to select all and now you can see I can just go ahead and center it out so now you can see it's going to center out here I can just go ahead and I can bring it here right there we go learn understand practice and get hired that's fine right there we go that's fine great so yeah if you want to include your sign here you can just go ahead and easily do that that's really a uh, you know, big deal here so i can let me just go ahead and make this small here so i just let me just bring it here that's fine for me cool so now one thing here you can see this actually i'm um, just making a seven point here well uh, i can make it this uh, eight point here it's really uh, you know gonna be fine so yeah it's really you know uh, depend on you know uh, how actually you are going to uh, design the stuff so uh, you can see now in this case it's actually you know getting away from this line here so what I can do basically well I'm going to just make this a uh, seven point here and that's the only reason because you know uh, in the seven point it's really look fine because if I go to eight here it's going to you know uh, go outside of this uh, this area here so it's really fine uh, I can use seven point or you can simply just go for seven point five point but stay closest to eight right there you go there we go this is uh, look fine for me <laughs> great so press control semicolon to hide my guides and now you can see here uh, this is actually you know no it's not look that fine here you can see it's actually you know coming all the way to this uh, dark area so let me just go ahead click this one and let's make this one point it will be fine here and now if i just control you know semicolon to hide my guide now you can see this is fine for me now it's not you know coming closest to this dark area that's fine great so yeah, I can just get back to here. I can just go to the swatches here and I can just go ahead and hit this guy. And now I can see, that's fine for me, great. Well, if you want to uh, include your signature here, you can just go ahead and uh, include it. Uh, in this case, uh, we'll actually talk about it later in this movie. <laughs> but now here, actually, I want to include my particular uh, domain name. So what I can do basically, I'm just going to grab this, uh, this particular domain name here. And I'm going to hold my L key so it's going to create copy for me. See, it's now created copy here, and now I'm going to just bring it here. So I just go ahead and hold on your space bar, and then you can just uh, drag it from here. And now I'm going to just bring it here. You can see now it's actually you now uh, you can see it's now actually hiding here, and that's only reason because of uh, it's actually going beyond. So you can right click on this one, uh, and you can go to arrange here. And you can see here, bring front or forward. Can see bring to front here. Click this one, and now it's actually going to bring it front here. Well, you can see here, this is actually you know coming all the way here, and because of the domain name we have included here, you can just go ahead and get down. It really doesn't matter here. You can just go ahead. Let me just make this the six uh, pixel, even five pixels. Fine for me, because I have already added this domain name here in this part front side. So. It really doesn't important to know uh, just include it in back side but I'm just including anyway if you want to include it it's really up to you or you can simply just go ahead six, make a six point uh, like six pixel or you can simply just go ahead let me just make this 5.5 it's still fine uh, so I can just go to here and let me just sink it down here there we go and there we go this is fine right so I can just get back to here bring it here we go that's fine let's make little bit big here this one so there we go this is a little bit big here uh, fine there so yeah 
so yeah that's fine right cool so there you go yeah great and now here obviously I'm going to just make use of this one because actually I use this domain name here so I'm going to make use of here and hold on your L key so it's going to create copy of this one now this is got to actually back here so right click this one arrange and bring to front that's it, it's got here and now I'm going to just you know uh, just make this miss small here so you can see yeah that's fine cool so yeah if you want you can just go ahead bring it a little bit down here there we go this is fine and now what I'm going to do basically here uh, I need this particular bar here so let me just go back to here you can see actually I need the this bar here so I just want to increase it there so you can see I cannot copy this one because actually I have locked it here so I'm going to unlock it so you can see this was actually mm, let me just unlock it and see uh, here we go if I click this one yeah this is the same one, right great so I'm going to copy this one and uh, obviously this one and which one yeah this one right so this one and this one both and I'm going to place control C here control C so control copy here and now once again I'm going to just lock it here and just lock this guy over here and now I can get back to here and here instead of control V I'm going to just add here control shift V so control shift V simply control shift V means that it's, it's going to paste into place so here you see now actually it's placed into that simple place here that is great so yeah that's fine for me that's great but here you can see it's actually coming out from here I can just go ahead and let me just you know uh, just uh, sink it down here so there you go I can just get back to here and select this one and I'm going to you know just uh, bring it up here there we go and now I'm going to once again lock it and now I'm going to select this guy and this one and again I'm going to just you know bring it to here there we go and I'm going to lock it there we go that's perfect for me great and now you can see now it's actually I placed here now what I want here you can see this is the not same color I'm using here so I just want to use this color so I can simply just get back to once again here and you can see here this is the right I'm going to just uh, unlock it and here click this one and go to swatches here and I'm going to click this guy this is the color I want here and uh, that's fine now if I just go ahead and hit control semicolon to hide my guides you can see this actually looks same color here you can see there's no difference here and now what I'm gonna do here basically you can see this is actually fine here so basically let me just go ahead and add a simple bar here so I'm going to bring my guide back here and now what I'm gonna do basically here I'm going to just grab this line here and I'm going to add a simple line here I'm just going to make it a little bit good right uh, so yeah there we go this is fine and I'm going to increase the stroke to be something like a two point and now let's see how it looks so I can just go ahead bring it here and now you can see yeah, that's look fine for me so what I can do that's cool great here and now I want like you know uh, that uh, cap here so you can see this is actually complete rectangle here so let me just add cap here I can go to this uh, strokes here and here you can see I just go ahead click this one and I can see now it's added that cap here so yeah that is fine uh, it's really uh, like you know easy to do that so now it's actually just making you know a very simple here so you can see if I just go ahead you can see that's look really you know a little bit <laughs> nice even so yeah it's really up to you what you're actually doing seriously it's, it's up to you so yeah that's done here and now what I'm going to do here I'm going to bring my uh, custom guide back by hitting just control and semicolon and now what I'm going to do here basically I'm going to create a simple you know triangle here so it will going to you know show that this is actually this area is the part of this one so what I can do here basically I just go to this rectangle I can just uh, go to this star tool here and now what I'm going to do here I'm just going to just create this star here you can see this star so how to create a rectangle well this is really easy you can just hold down up arrow key or down arrow key in your keyboard so simply you can see in this case I'm going to hold my uh, down arrow key you see now it's see it's uh, now it's actually complete triangle here and if you want to increase it you go ahead and ho hold up arrow key you can see so this actually save creations in illustrator and if you really want to curious that how to do that go ahead and actually I have an entire course dedicated to mastering shapes creation in illustrator so go ahead and take a look because in that particular course actually I have explained clearly that how to create 
awesome shapes in Illustrator by using these uh, you know tools. Great. So now uh, because this is actually you can see triangle is created here. I just need to decide that how big I want this triangle. So this is fine for me. And I don't want any strokes here. I want this particular fill here. And fill is gonna be like uh, I'm going to give it a white here because you know uh, this is actually gonna be part of this guy. So what I'm gonna do here basically I'm going to get rid of this here. And now I want to you know uh, want to just you know place it here. So what I can do basically here, I'm going to just you know uh, just rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it here mm -hmm, like this here. And what I do here, I just go ahead and rotate it to be like you know fit here properly. So there we go. This is uh, fine, I guess. Uh, this is great, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I can just go ahead and bring it here. <coughs> you can see that's look fine. Let me just bring and now I can just go ahead like this one and I can bring it here. There we go. That's fine. And now you can see now this is actually showing that this triangle is actually you know uh this is actually this part of this guy. <laughs> Simple start. So yeah, there we go. This is actually our triangle here. That's fine. Now uh, actually we have just designed this part. Now let's go ahead and design this one. But before going there, this is look too bold here. So if you want, you can just go ahead and let's make it regular here, see how it looks. So you can see, uh, regular looks really fine here, you can see, cool. So I'm just going to keep it, you know, regular and you can see, uh, this is fine. But now let me just go to here. Let me just go to narrow here, see how it looks. Yeah, narrow is, uh, looks fine here. So yeah, that's, that's, that's simple here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that that's great here. So now what I'm going to do here, basically, I'm going to just uh, include here my name. So obviously, I'm just going to create this guy, and this is going to be Rahul Giri here. This is actually my name here, and obviously, I'm going to make it like you know uh, seven or simply eight uh, pixel. Yeah, that's fine. And obviously, I'm going to choose here white. There we go, and this is perfect here. Cool. I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to you can see this is actually narrow I don't want narrow here I want here regular that's fine for me that's great Rahul get him and I'm going to just paste it here inside this safe zone area this is actually yeah this is uh, kind of important information <laughs> okay fine that's great so yeah there we go that's great now I need to place an instructor so I can just go ahead and here I can type here instructor and I want this instructor on this full capital here so that's gonna be a great here and if this is capital I can go to six point here that's fine right even I can go to five here it's look fine but I just want to keep it six uh, point here or pixel you can say and I can just go ahead and grab it here you can see this looks a little bit you know after this one so I can go to character here and you can see there's a tracking here I can just go ahead and decrease it and let's see now you see now that's fine so there we go yeah that's fine here let me just make 20 here there we go perfect so now I can uh, make it actually you know mm, obviously <laughs> I can make it like uh, this uh, white here but it's actually going to compete with my name I don't want to you know get compete with my name so what I can do basically I can get back to here and I'm going to you know make some decisions here so I can choose any you know color which is actually going to you know look similar to this guy so this is gonna be fine great and uh, one more thing that if you are actually you know choosing uh, like a different color for your text it's really fine but if you are choosing color for your logos or for the graphics it's really important to choose coated or uncoated colors remember this one right great so that's fine here I guess and we're actually going to come back to this guy it's really up to you uh, I'm just check which I'm going to fit uh, you know uh, like properly so I can get back to here and what I can do basically here I think I need to get back to my swatches here and I'm going to select this guy right and after selecting this guy uh, I can get back to my this particular guide here and you can see now I actually have a lot of variant here you see that's great so now you can see this is fine for me and now I close it here so there we go that's fine and now here what I can do uh, if you want to include your uh, picture here uh, definitely you can just go ahead and do that in this case I'm not going to include my picture but obviously I'm going to include any icon here that is computer user and yeah because this is gonna be like you know code based course I mean I'm going to you know create a code here because this is actually a programming course I'm going to make use of this particular icon here so I can just grab it here and just let me just go ahead and close it out here first of all and here what I'm going to do I'm going to shrink it down here we go there we go and here I'm going to bring it up here there we go 
and that's fine because you can see now it's actually now uh, completely aligned here that's great and obviously I'm going to choose it color for this one it's gonna be like a white here that's great and if you want to choose another color you can just do that it's really really up to you I can just go ahead shrink it here and there we go that's fine for me if you want you can let me just decrease it to be five point here you see yeah that's look fine here see so it doesn't matter because now you can see uh, this actually uh, this is actually a capital you know letter so it's really gonna be fine for like you know even a small city you see this much smaller and now you can see it like you know it's look fine right great so this is this is actually too small yeah. so this looks fine for me so yeah that's fine instructor you see all great instructor great uh, now what I can do basically let me just go ahead and increase this tracking so it's going to fit it here so I can just get back to here and make this um, 50 I guess uh, 50 is not uh, that much nicer okay I need to make it a little bit like big here so let's make it 200 and now if I just go to here let me just place it here you can see this is too big here let's make it 150 and see how big it is so now I can bring it here we go and here there we go yeah now it's look fine right great so here's go here's my name here's uh I'm an instructor obviously and here what I'm gonna do I'm going to add my social address here so for Facebook for Google Plus and for Twitter so here's the one thing I just want to show you that if you are actually going to use this social stuff here let me get back to here and what you can do basically here you can just go ahead search for font awesome here and go to this uh, click here and even if you want you can just go ahead and grab any you know icon you can use it here but I just want to tell you that you no know, font awesome is really great here uh, you can simply just uh, get back to here I can just go to download here click this one and now you can just uh, click this one and now you can actually download this one and you can install it in your PC and if you just do that you can see here if I go to icon here and there's a lot of icon here so you can just use it directly in your uh, particular like graphic design software so you can see here I can use any icon if I just installed a font awesome in my PC so let me show you that I, I can just click this guy and now here you can see this is actually font awesome cheat sheet and here I can just simply go to uh, control F here and here I'm going to just find their Facebook and you can see I have this Facebook icon and I'm going to make use of this square one right this one so I can simply just copy this one uh, let's select this one and click here copy it and get back to here and now what you can do basically you can just grab this text here you can just uh, come back to here you can simply paste it here and now see now it's actually see it's not working here but you can just go ahead control a and now you can just come back to here and actually font awesome I have already installed in my PC so I can just go ahead search for font awesome you see font awesome and this is true type I can just go ahead click this guy and now you can see it's turned to now you can see now it's turned to this Facebook icon so this is really great you can just go ahead and use it this is fine right so I can just go ahead and just select it and obviously I need it in white here so click this one white and now it's actually turned to white here but now I can see here this is actually five point I can make this uh, let me just make it uh, six point and if you want bigger you can just make seven point eight point it's really up to you let me just make seven point uh, let me just make eight point is fine here right great here and now I can just go ahead and add here my Facebook uh, like you know page address well seriously uh, I don't have any you know a page for Facebook but the JS interview that's it the JS interview and now I'm going to grab it here and let me just uh, bring it to here right and you can see here uh, there's actually a lot of tracking here so I'm going to just you know grab this guy over here and just decrease this tracking to be something like a 0 0 0 or simply 20 to add some little bit tracking here that's fine great so yeah this is my uh, Facebook address here and it's not a real address right I just have to write it because of you know <laughs> okay fine uh, so you got it I think great so you can see now this address is actually directly competing with my icon here so you can actually either uh, increase the size of your icon or you can simply decrease it so let's decrease it and now you can see that's fine if you want you can just go ahead and you know you can just go to obviously you know uh, decrease the opacity here so now you can see uh, this is gonna be a little bit you know small here and yeah a little bit darker great so yeah this is fine for me I guess yeah this is fine for me 
I can see now I want to add here my uh, Twitter handle and uh, Google Plus so I can go to here I can hold on my alt key and you can see it's actually bring it here if you want to know just copy any stuff in the same direction you can just hold on your shift key and see now it's actually going to just you know going to be nice very straight here so there we go and now here I'm going to paste my uh, Google or Twitter so let's search for Google here so Google and this is gonna be plus here so Google plus actually I didn't find it here so let's search for Google here and there we go this actually you know see plus square one I'm going to copy this guy control C or simply copy and I'm going to just uh, get back to here and here I'm going to paste it and here I can just write here that the just interview on obviously Google <laughs> that's great yeah same I can just get back to here hold on my alt key and shift key and here I can simply just um, go ahead and just leave it down here and here what I'm going to do I'm going to here and just search for Twitter here and Twitter square version I'm using here so you can see this is actually version 20 square here see copy and uh, select this text here I can get back to here and paste it here and now it's Twitter icon and in Twitter I can simply write here a uh, add the rate you know the JS interview it's really you know easy easy uh, you know right so I can just you know grab it here and you can see this is the uh, Facebook the JS interview uh, Google Plus the JS interview and this is the Twitter the JS interview so this is my uh, social uh, network uh, you know stuff well if you want to add some extra bit of information here you can just go ahead and you can add some extra bit information about yourself what you actually do what you uh, you know you're doing or whatever it's really gonna be like you know that that much simple here so this is actually simple let me just uh, go to here and let me search for my name Rahul Giri here and I can get back to here and I'm going to copy you know uh, my tagline here so I can paste it out there I can just go ahead and grab this uh, tagline so Rahul Giri this you see this is entrepreneur uh, web developer and graphic designer copy it I can get back to here and I can simply just go ahead and you know create a simple text box here and uh, okay I need my that uh, you know save zone area so obviously that's important so you can see now this there we go so now I can just go ahead paste it here and you can see it's actually placed in center here uh, you can just go ahead and align to be uh, left here and here you can just go ahead obviously you know that you can just change this color to be white here and uh, yeah that's fine here uh, now you can see the seven point well you can make it six points so it's not going to compete with the actual you know main uh, stuff here and uh, yeah if you want you can just go ahead and obviously decrease this opacity so that's gonna be fine decreasing opacity is a really great choice here yeah? and uh, yeah here mm, you can just go ahead and just write here an entrepreneur web developer and graphics designer obviously uh, here you can just go ahead and just just place it up here so now if I just go ahead place control semicolon to hide my guides and now you can see this is actually our business card now I just go ahead select this one and now if you want you can just go ahead and add effects here so you can just go ahead uh, and choose uh, drop shadow uh, inner glow outer glow it's really up to you so let me show you if I just go to here uh, outer glow or you can please go to drop shadow here you can just go ahead turn on this preview and at the real time you can see uh, what is actually going to apply it here right so you can see you can just go ahead to say a multiply or soft light uh, it's really really up to you it's really easy to do that right and if I just go ahead and uh, yeah I can just choose anyone like this color and you can see here at the live you can see how it's actually in fact you can see there's actually that that particular you can see it very clearly here you see and now after that what you can do basically you can just go ahead and apply some kind of a shadow effect here if you uh, wish to do that it's really up to you so you can go to effect here and go to stylize go to drop shadow here feather inner glow outer glow so you can just go ahead and you can apply outer glow if you want you can just go ahead turn on this preview it's going to show you real time what is actually going to apply here and uh, yeah I can just increase blur you can see it's increasing up up and up and up well I don't want to apply this uh, outer glow here basically what I can do basically I just go to here and I can just uh, select uh, like this particular uh, box here so I locked it here so I'm going to just select this box here see this is the box right and I can just go ahead and uh, uh, I can simply you know uh, just bring this opacity a little bit down here uh, not that much down but yeah little bit down so so now I can see my uh, you know difference between this particular here and anyway right great fine so now you can see the difference here now it's actually done here that's great 
and now you can see there is actually you know uh, front side of your business card and back side of your business card so yeah this is how can you design your horizontal business card and this is really great but remember that if you actually want to design this business card for your client you need to provide multiple design to your clients so see what they like and what they don't and based on that you can just go ahead and create your uh, business card right so yeah this is how can you design your horizontal business card so i hope you learned something if you have any doubt let me know in the forum and um, yeah thank you so much for joining me in this movie see you in the next movie till then take care